Right, just doing another small video. I've been all over today, starting back there, came up through Holford Glen, not Holford Glen, at the Hodder's Coombe, right up the top to Bickernola Post, then followed all the way along the top, and over the other side, down to Crocombe, and then back up the big hill. Further out in the distance, you can see Steep Home. It's like a seal, doesn't it, from here? It's just stuck there. It's completely different from here than it does from... Um, when you look at this that rock from Western, it looks very tall and upright, like a big stone. That looks more spread out, and we've seen it from the side view, see? So here's all the beauty. There's the... The Coombs, Ladies Coombe, Frogs Coombe, Hodder's Coombe, Holford Coombe, Holford Glen. That is the area of absolute beauty, pumping out oxygen that is down there. I mean, I, one day I just want to come back through there when it's not dark, but in the evening, because that is the, when you'll see the, that's when you'll see the deer when they come down to drink. They're all sheltering, you see, they're not all exposed. I mean, I've, I've seen one of, at the beginning. Could have been a large doe um, or a small stag, I'm not sure. It uh, disappeared very quickly and I couldn't really zoom in and get a clear picture, but I'd seen it with a naked eye and I did try and take an image. old track with glorious views of my beautiful Somerset, my beautiful beautiful Quantock Hills everyone. Now of course if you take various paths off now you can lead down into the Coombe. Walk back up the Coombe if you want. But today I'm not doing that for on purpose. Today I am actually following this route all the way back to the source. Um, so I've already done quite a bit of walking. My legs don't ache at all. My feet don't hurt, nothing. I've covered myself up a bit so I don't get sunburnt. <sighs> Protecting my head, mainly. But I, um... <sighs> yeah, no, I'm doing quite well. I feel, my lungs feel okay now. ruin it you know that hinkley point expanding like that it's, it looks so industrial now when you look out this all this beauty then you look out there now and you've got that big complex being built and you've got all this beauty here you've got all this beauty Yeah, I've seen some horses with their foals today. That was nice. And they are horses. They, they're too big to be ponies. It's a glorious day. Obviously, I would spend more time up here if I lived over here. I mean, my main place of walking is the Mendips because it's so within reach. I don't have to carry and take our bursar out. It didn't cost me nothing to, uh, I'm like over on the Mendips, but I mean, there's so much for me to explore here. Yeah. So it looks like there's a car up there. I don't know whether to deviate just to go and stand on that and then come back down here. I think I might. I might do a slight deviation a minute and just go up to that car and, and then come back down here and go follow that this on down. Yeah, 
we just as well, don't we? It's all getting, it's, I mean, it's just beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful afternoon, it's a beautiful evening. I can smell the sheep's dung. You know, you can't, you can't really, it's hard to describe a smell, isn't it? Sheep, rabbit and horse poo. Dung. Sounds better, doesn't it, dung? It doesn't sound so nasty in many ways. It's like dung is used to fertilise the soil and all that. It's got different connotations. I don't know what this video is going to turn out like because it is quite bumpy, this route. But I'm deliberately walking up to this cairn. Because <sighs> there's loads of burial grounds around here, by the way. And one day I do want to explore that hill over there, which I've never been on. I don't reckon I've ever been on there. But I've done all this today, folks, all of it. I've got other areas to explore. Well, the other side as well. I haven't finished yet. Up past the old fox and house. <sighs> the thing is, this is a bad time to come out when the sun's like this. But if you keep away from the ferns, you'll probably be all right. I mean, whether I've got attacks, I don't know. You won't know till you get home. Because when they first bite ticks, they don't let you know. They get in on you, then they do the damage. So for the first 24 hours, you won't feel nothing. They don't, you know, you only feel them once they start sinking in more. I had two big ticks from here last year. One on my leg, it took, well, the damage done. It took six months to clear up completely. And I had one on my back. <laughs> Once again, that took quite a while. Because the thing is, you scratch, you see, and then that causes the damage. Yeah, there's a few sheep about. I wondered where you sheepies had gone. They always look a bit rough and ready up here, the sheep. Yeah, I want to come up here so we can look into the coombs. It's like these shrubs. They're almost arranged as if it's somebody's garden, aren't they? If you know what I mean. And the rabbits keep the grass down. Get a good view of anyone who's coming along, mind when you're here. <sighs> yeah, I just definitely want to come onto this car and to get brilliant views from up here. I think it was bigger than this in the past. Sure it was. It gets flattened every now and again. All right, here we are then. On one of the, quite a high point. Earlier I was up there on the trick point, right up there. And I've got to travel further over and over to West Bagborough. There's a beautiful Holford Glen down there. Beautiful Holford Glen and beautiful Hodder's Coombe and Ladies Coombe and Frog's Coombe. But I've got to go back on the path because I've got to follow that designated pathway. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Thank <sighs> you.
Wordsworth and Coleridge. I love this land, by the way, just to remind everyone. This is poetry land. Right, over and out now, for now. Over and out. I'll be back, everyone. It's nice to see this at different seasons as well, like we do Cheddar Gorge. This is beautiful. This is absolute beauty here. I just go over a little bit more so we can see down. And of course, like I said, all any path you see now will take you straight down. I'll take you straight down into the coom. I've taken my kids down through these tracks. Zara and Georgia, mainly. got to learn a little bit about this beautiful place and I've taken J Daisy and Amber up here and I think Jack and Lucy have been up here now. See there's a way down through over there which takes you down in, th in through the valley. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep to my plan over and out.